Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 14 in chapter 11. Chapter 11 is about the temperature, thermal expansion, ideal gas law. There we have the uniform rectangular plant with the side lengths L and omega, uh, uh, L and W, sorry. And also tell us the coefficient for linear expansion is alpha. We need to find the function for the change of the errors with the change of the temperature, delta D. So we can say change of the error delta A is just this part, agree? This part, and how it is related to the change of temperature, delta T. We prove it there. So we can say for the rectangular plant, and then for each side, we know the plant this changes follows this leader thermal is changing thermal is changing function right you can check on your textbook and initially we know the a naught a naught is l times w and then after the temperature increased we find finally this lens for l become l plus delta l and the w becomes w plus delta w agree and then we can expand this function, look like this one. And then you can see this term is delta L, delta W, it's uh, super small, so we can ignore it. After we ignore it, see the A equal to L W plus L delta W plus delta L W. And L W is just A naught, right? And L delta W, delta W, we can see, and uh, this side, the delta W just equal to alpha naught or alpha W delta T, agree? Because initially it's W, then it becomes delta T, so alpha W delta T. Then delta L become alpha L delta T, agree? And then in this case, we can say this term equals to this term. And it becomes 2 times alpha L W delta T. And the delta A is a uh, just a rectangular plant, uh, this uh, areas changes uses the uh, A final areas minus initial areas. Delta A equal to this two, this this term plus this term, two times alpha L W delta T. Thank you.